Hi everybody, it's Kathy Sue just with Cedar Row and I just wanted to do a short video about an app called Notion. I was watching a Skillshare class by Liz Kohler Brown, uh, repeat pattern for print on demand if you want to know the specific class that I was watching and um, she was talking about using this particular app in order to keep her files organized in all her descriptions and keywords for each of her designs that she makes and I said oh my goodness this is what I need because I have struggled with trying to keep track of stuff and it seems like I'm doing more searching for things than I should be so I downloaded it and I have been so thrilled that I did um, she actually gave this template so I uploaded the template that she gave us in the class and um, changed it around to fit my needs and I just kind of wanted to take you uh, just to, I, I, I'm using these two up here as an example because I just wanted to show you the kinds of things that you can do with this now I did also want to tell you that we did upgrade to the personal pro plan there is a free version of notion um, but you don't get unlimited uploads and there's so many files that's it you kind of for, for what my need was, I really needed the unlimited um, uploads. Not everybody is going to need that, but I needed it. So I, uh, I, I think I pay like $4 a month for this and it's, it is way worth it for me to have everything in one, one place. Plus you have to know that, you know, our business is two people. It's my daughter and I, and, and so she's at her house creating designs and she uploads them. I'm at my house creating designs, uploading them, and we can share them. So it just really works out very, very well. But what we did, so our business is mostly um, procreate work. And so we love to make brushes and pattern brushes, stamp brushes, pattern brushes. They're so much fun to make. And um, so she had made this one here, this uh, 10 potion bottle. Um, stamp set and uh, it seemed to be doing pretty good on uh, Creative Fabrica so I thought well it seems like people kind of like these potion bottles so I said well I'm gonna do a pattern on them and so I created this pattern and I um, have all so I each one of these is a file each element here is a file each potion bottle is a file that I painted and each element is a file that I've painted and then this is the final version. But everything is in one section that I can get to at any time. I have my keywords that I'm using and I have um, my description. So if I wanna go through and upload it to something, another platform, right now I have it, these are the platforms that we typically will upload to and uh, right now I have it on Spoonflower, Redbubble, and Society6. So, you know, I, I don't know if merch would even, I don't know, they, they kind of get a little weird about anything. They may reject it because it's potion bottles. So, uh, you know, I don't even, and, and I mean, and it's not, I could make some type of t-shirt, some type of t-shirt out of this, but this is mostly a seamless pattern for the um, totes and, and, and pillows, but I don't know if they would have approved it or not. But so I, I, I get a little bit, I am a little bit more nervous about anything like that going up on merch. But um, yeah, so we you indicate which ones you have uploaded it to, and it's all in one section. And the other thing that I have done, and you, so you can see, I mean, all of these patterns. I mean, these are all, you know, t-shirts, so there's just one single pattern. But all the ones that has a lot of different elements to it, those are all seamless patterns that I've created. And um, so they all have, you know, a good probably, you know, five, at least five elements to them. And that's five different files that you need for each, each design. So then I decided I wanted to have a database of all of my elements. So here's all, I'm starting this. I just started this, uploading all my, to this database then. So I have one complete database of all my different elements. 
I have just gotten started, but I have a lot to put back to put in there. But when I have a little bit of like just needing to rest, I'll just upload some more uh, to the database. But it, it's a great thing, and I've only scratched the surface with Notion. Um, I'm sure it's something that I should watch some more YouTube videos on because there are tons of YouTube videos out there, and it can do a lot. Um, so I'm just giving you this information. This is a great organization of your files for anybody's on print-on-demand.